Today is Tuesday, June 14th. It is Flag Day. I'm going to take a look at the British markets and European, Europe in general in advance of this British exit vote, or Brexit, that's coming up. And right now, it's just about time for the market to open. Here we have the FXB ETF. This is the British Pound Currency ETF. So you see the gap down on Friday and the decline yesterday, and it's also a bit lower this morning. We'll probably see that tick in as we speak right now. But you can see that the trend is pretty clear from 2014. You know, that's a, just a declining trend. Correction, more trend. Another correction here. It looks like a breakdown from that correction. On balance volume. Now, the currency ETFs aren't that active, so we'll take on balance volume with a grain of salt. But it's certainly not doing anything to say it's not a weak currency right now. All right, let's take a look at the euro, FXE. A little different. Been in a, kind of a trading range since uh, the beginning of 2015. And there we go. You saw that first tick come in uh, as it opened today. So it's in this rising trend right now. Looks more like a bearish wedge to me. Although overall you could say that this whole pattern here is just a trading range. And now it's appearing that it wants to break down and head to the bottom of the range. Obviously you can't make that call until it does break down. But right now not much technical action in the euro. All right, I'm going to go back to the, to, um, to the stocks now. Let's look at the UK ETF. Kind of looks like the currency. You can see the gap down Friday. Let's zoom in a little bit. The gap down Friday and a really bad open this morning as Europe is down 1% to 1.5% across the board right now. So that's pretty bad for Europe. They don't like it. And just for kicks, take a look at Germany. Germany's uh, bond market just went negative, negative yield for the first time. So that's not a good thing. You can see that ETF looks awful as well. Let's zoom out just to get a better feel for it. That is definitely an awful looking chart. Okay, let's just keep going around Europe. What can we look at here? Spain. Oops, I missed. I missed again. There we go. Spain looks awful. Italy looks pretty much the same. Let's look at France. EWQ for France. That's a pretty steep breakdown. Very sharp breakdown. You can see the, the, the opening uh, tick down this morning. So Europe is just not feeling this, not liking the potential for, for Britain to leave. It shows up in the currency, shows up in the stock market. So not a good not a good situation over there. We'll see what happens with the vote. I think it's leaning towards exit, but uh, that's not my area, and we'll let the uh, let the news people decide.